We're really pleased that all of you could join us today as we talk about a, a very important wake-up call, and I sincerely hope a turning point in the history of... We have a choice of legacies to leave our children and future generations. We can act boldly to save our salmon or continue policies of benign neglect and therefore be responsible for the extinction of wild salmon. For me, extinction of our wild Chinook salmon is simply not an option. But salmon recover recovery is failing, you know, and uh, we have to bring it back. We have to work together with the state, the feds, with everyone, our science, you know, we have to, we have to bring it back. When Governor Locke uh, said extinction is not an option and endangered species, that was Chinook salmon. And, uh, you know, what happened over the years since he made that statement, nothing has happened. And uh, right now we did this report on the watershed report and uh, and uh, the watershed report will tell you everything that's going on on our watersheds. And they're, uh, I mean, it, you know, it's what we've all, we all know that we're on the watersheds all the time, our tribes. And, uh, but to put it all into a report, boy, that's, that is one of the greatest things. It took uh, three or four years to make that happen, and our tribes made it happen. Before the State of the Watersheds report, no one has ever taken all these disjointed, disparate pieces of data and focused them on the question of, are we gaining or are we losing habitat? And this is a huge accomplishment from the tribal point of view in that really for the first time, they have taken that place-based reality that they have and taken the information and focused it on those watersheds and what their concerns are. So what the State of the Watershed Report is, is now a, a condensing, a focusing of that available data. It really is a dump of the file drawers, a dump of information and focusing it on watersheds. It is most importantly, it's focused on quantitatively evaluating um, losses, trends of habitat. Are we losing ground or are we gaining ground? The overall message in the State of the Watersheds report is that we are losing habitat faster than we're gaining it. We all have put a huge amount of effort into protecting the watersheds that the tribal people call home, but also that are so critical to the salmon that they depend on. And we're losing that habitat at an alarming rate. You know, we just got to look out into the future, all of us and uh, our state and our planners. You know, we just got to uh, keep, keep uh, a focus on recovery of our salmon. Yeah. Now, we, we got some good things going. We have the Alwa dams that have been taken out. That's a positive uh, for all of us. And uh, uh, Skokomish is, uh, is working on their watershed. It's looking great down there. I've been down there and and looked at all that in Epidelwa, and then our, our own Nisqually tribe, my tribe, you know, that watershed's uh, uh, in, in good shape. There's a lot of hope in, in walking through that watershed. We can, if we could make all of our watersheds start breathing and, and uh, start uh, putting them back together, we gotta do that. You know, Puget Sound and our coast they depend on salmon. We depend on salmon for ceremonies, for our culture. We smoke salmon, we, we put salmon up and uh, for, uh, for next year and uh, our, our weddings and all of our funerals and all of these things, are, they're, they got salmon. And there's hope, there's hope for all of us when we, when we work together. When we work together, we're powerful. All of us are powerful. You know, the tribes and the state and the government, you know. And uh, we just have to continue to do that and make it happen.